How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hope that you guys have an awesome day. This poem today is going to be called My Former TV Watching Days. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I used to spend time paying so much attention, attention to a variety of dimensions that would put my mind in a mental detention. Like anyone, there are a multitude of exceptions. It's called downtime. If you go out and combine, you would ultimately find a lot of time wasted. Face it. Knowing what happened with the last episode of Games of Thrones, let alone on my life, has no effect. To quote my brother, we need to spend more time trying to CTC collect the check. I used to be a major fan of The Walking Dead. Now I spend time more thinking about and discussing things that I've read. We grow, we all grow, like it may be slow. Like Tupac said, you evolve or you disappear. Let's be clear. Hours of television watching is considered to be unhealthy. It could be counterintuitive, like taking 100 to 1,000 selfies. Turn on the television and I say, what are you trying to sell me? Ads, ignorance, methodical stories, what are you really trying to tell me? It's cool, entertainment, no matter how you name it. Too much time invested in it is wasted. There's no other way to explain it. Wait until there's an entire season and go on a binge. Every time I hear long in-depth TV show discussions, man, at times I cringe. I used to binge on the show called Weeds. That show was great, entertaining, but it took so much time from me planting financial and educational seeds. People feed off of drama and nonsense that you wouldn't display in front of your mama. Carmete mis amigos, you're acting like babosos, and I don't want right now to see so. I used to watch the show Sons of Anarchies. Binging on, I couldn't stand to see, my mind losing the place known as productivity. I am, or do I look like Mr. Negativity? I'd like to say that I'm considered Mr. Positivity, who's committed to speaking his mind. While on the grind, I collect various subject matters and develop multiple patterns because I read by ensuring the book is open. Turn off the TV and pick up a book and let the world know that your mind and spirit isn't broken. Up multiple people's mentalities start choking. When the truth they hear, then comes the knocking on your door. It's known as fear. If you choose to open the door, then you must deal with the consequences that come from the appeal that could lead to your eternal and external termination. Make your reservations to turn off the tube. Make your reservations with cutting out certain types of food. Being crude is for the weak. Every day, real estate investors, history, entrepreneurship, knowledge is what I see. With all, we all should continue to consume independent information that makes the mind go boom. Then, like a well-treated flower, we will all bloom into the person that we were meant to be. Now, what society tries to mold you into or what they want you to be, what's the capacity on engaging and staging massive and motivated moves? Who knows? Because everyone thinks that life is supposed to go and run smooth. What do you have to prove? To me, nothing, but to yourself, everything. We are all birds. Don't always turn on the tube and clip your wings. You were meant to fly high, not just skate and get by. My, oh my, and with all that, I must say, goodbye.